Uh, the chair recognizes the ranking member of the subcommittee, Mr. Green from Texas. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Cordray, let's talk for just a moment about the allegations from another perspective. Uh, we've heard any number of complaints and they've covered a good many different areas. But what I'd like to know is how many lawsuits have you actually had filed? We have, as I understand it, uh, we have had four matters subjected to the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission in three years. Uh, sorry, four individuals have filed. Two of them filed two complaints each. One was by a former employee and one was by an applicant. That's the sum and substance of what we've had filed thus far. And these complaints, concerns of whatever nature, have been usually resolved without litigation. You usually acquire some resolution for the con concerns that are called to your attention without litigation. Is that a fair statement? We've had a, we've had a significant number of grievances. I mean, people have not been afraid to speak up and voice their complaints. Very often we've been able to resolve those grievances uh, in a mediated or, or legitimate setting without having to go to any kind of litigation. On occasion that's not been so, but that's certainly our intent wherever possible. And is it true that you encourage resolution uh, such that people can have their concerns brought to your attention but also resolved? I want to have them resolved uh, and alternative dispute resolution, mediation and other means, counseling and other things have been fruitful ways at times to help people reach in a productive result on both sides. And is it also true that once you acquired in the, a knowledge about the review system that you worked to correct that, that you in fact worked with the union on this question of the review system? We did. We took the initiative on this and with respect to the Congresswoman, we acted very quickly uh, to resolve it. And we did not push this into any litigated form, which could have taken years, which has been true of other agencies at times. We pushed forward, we addressed it, we thought it was the right thing to do. And are you still working with the union to resolve issues as they arise? We're, we continue to be in bargaining with the union. We have uh, matters that we are bargaining over now to resolve. We'll have another round, and that's an ongoing process, and it's been a very productive process. I think that uh, the NTEU is professional. They've dealt with a number of different agencies. We're their newest uh, agency, and uh, that has been a way to give voice to employees and see to it that issues get resolved amicably on both sides. Have you demonstrated at every point uh, your desire to resolve these disputes and complaints that have been raised. Have you always tried to work with people to resolve their complaints? That has always been my intent. I would say not everything gets done as quickly as I would like. I find that to be a constant source of frustration. Sometimes I'm more involved, sometimes I'm less involved. I like to see productive, positive results where possible, but I also like to see appropriate results based on the facts and circumstances. And I know that I have to hear both sides, the agency has to hear both sides, process needs to be followed to get to appropriate results. Well, that's exactly where I wanted to go next. Uh, you've given me a good segue. Uh, it's easy to hear complaints, to hear one side of a story, but when you try to ascertain what the facts are, you have to hear all sides. That, that, that's not necessarily two, it could be three, but you have to hear all sides. And that process takes a little bit longer than having a congressional hearing. Uh, it requires that you do some additional uh, investigative work from time to time. Do you find that trying to get to the bottom of things uh, can require time that might not be um, thought of as, uh, as time wasted, that that's time well spent when you try to hear from all sides? Yes, and I've never been a judge myself. I know you have been, but I've been in front of many judges, and I know uh, uh, Congressman Duffy and many of the members of this panel have been in front of judges, and you always want them to take the time to understand both sides and then hope that they will render the fairest decision they can based on a knowledge of the entire matter. And as you move forward, uh, <clears throat> will you make sure that any of the uh, concerns that are called to your attention, if they get to you, I, hopefully they're resolved before they get to you, but you give, do you give an assurance that they're going to receive 
uh, the kind of attention that you would want your own circumstance to receive if it were before a person who had to deliberate and come to some conclusion. I do, and I, I want our employees to be treated fairly, and I want, them, I want these matters to be resolved as quickly as they can be, but reasonably and on a full knowledge of, of what both sides of the story, or as you say, sometimes more than two sides of the story would be. I'll yield back my time. The gentleman's time has expired.